Welcome to Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. Right now at six, a terrifying crime caught inside, caught on camera inside an elderly couple's home. But there's a new twist and a new picture you need to see. Updated new details tonight on what went down inside that home and who police say they're on the lookout for. Good evening and thanks for joining us. A lot going on tonight, but we'll begin with a major update in that frightening home invasion. New tonight, police are talking about the chain of events. The crime was caught on video from an elderly couple's home on Turnpike Road in Portsmouth. Police say the pieces of the puzzle are coming together in this case. Dead on your side, Andy Fox has the latest from police and the neighborhood. Andy? On camera. Uh, but he kind of laid out for us what happened. He laid out what happened and also telling us about the armed gunman who stormed into his house with likely insider information on where to find the safe. By now, social media has grabbed hold of this home invasion caught on video. Armed suspects enter a home, apparently on a mission to find a safe. Ten on your side met with one of the victims, a disabled Vietnam veteran, who told us he felt violated, and he told Portsmouth Police Chief Stephen Jenkins the same thing. When home invasions occur, they're, again, generally known offenders to the victim. Uh, so we just don't have folks just randomly walking around kicking in people's doors. The victim we spoke to says neither of the suspects has ever been in the home. Police Chief Stephen Jenkins tells us they are not in custody yet, but they are looking for 25-year-old Mitchell Bonney Jr., the taller one, and 22-year-old Tyree DeMont Bonney. Police say they are the ones in this home invasion video, and the chief believes they had knowledge on where to find the safe who gave them the information on where to go to get the safe, which they then left the property with. I, I do not know uh, at this point um, as to how that information was put out. The victim confirmed to 10 on your side, there were tens of thousands of dollars in the safe that belonged to someone staying with the victim and his wife. Police have spoken to that man. Has he been able to help in the investigation? He has been very helpful. He's been very helpful. Um, in connecting the dots. Yes, sir. We asked the victim why the person who lives with him would have tens of thousands of dollars in a safe. He did not know the answer to that. We also asked if he does have a safe with all that money in it, why wasn't it bolted down to the floor? Again, does not know the answer to that question. And all that money that went out the door, likely not coming back. Police want you to call the crime line. If you have any idea where these two suspects are, it's very important. Violent crime was committed and they wanna get the suspects off the street. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Let's talk about it. So obviously this is an inside job where somebody was talking, someone was talking too much. They always say loose lips sink ships. I think it's one of those, one of those two that's playing a role in this situation. Okay, so the guys come in the house. What if the people hadn't gave it up? What if the safe couldn't have been found? Would have been okay to shoot the people? Would that have been cool if you're from the streets? So because you suffering or you need money, it's okay, it's cool to come into someone else's house and take their money. I guess it only matter if there was someone coming in your house or your mother's house or someone that you love going in their house and robbing them at gunpoint, terrorizing them. At some point, dumb sh can no longer be accepted and past as being cool. These guys are gone. They have ruined their life. They will be caught. Learn from them. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Thank you for watching. And I'm gone.